Hello everyone, this is Lomi, and today I'm doing a little experiment so I can answer a question I've been asked a few times recently. How safe for resin are the solvents used to remove face-ups? To answer this question, I'll be using Winsor & Newton Brush Cleaner, Pure Acetone, and water as a control substance. I made castings of some little donut charms to use for this experiment. These are cast in urethane resin, which is the same thing most BJDs are made of. That means they'll react the same way as a doll's resin would, but I don't have to risk doll parts for this experiment. They're not great castings, they have a few bubbles and imperfections, but this gives us more variables to work with. So first things first, I drop a donut into each container. In one, I put water as a control substance. The middle is pure acetone, and the one on the left is Winsor & Newton brush cleaner. This video is sped up a bit. When you remove a face-up, the solvents aren't on a doll's resin for very long. So as soon as I have things cleaned up, about 45 seconds after the acetone has been poured, I pull the resin back out of the acetone to see how it's doing. This is about how long you'd have it on a doll's head. So far, there are no changes at all. It's still perfectly solid. If we're going to see any kind of obvious effect, we'll need to let it soak, so I set a timer for 5 minutes. This video is playing at 1000% of the original speed. As you can see, there's not anything visibly happening. I'd always heard that acetone melts resin, so this isn't quite what I expected I'd see. When the 5 minutes are up, I check them again, starting with the resin and the acetone. There was a place on one side where there were some bad bubbles and the resin was paper thin. You can see here that this resin has flaked away, leaving the bubbles exposed. The surface of the rest of the resin feels slightly softened, kind of rubbery, but it's still solid enough that it doesn't chip or take the imprint of a fingernail at all. The sprinkle shapes on top and the rest of the donut are still solid and pretty well unharmed. Not what I anticipated from this experiment, that's for sure. Next I check the piece that's been soaking in the brush cleaner. It feels a little oily, but that's probably just the brush cleaner since it has conditioners in it. Otherwise, it's completely unchanged. And the one that's been sitting in the water is also unchanged. Not that we would expect water to do anything to resin, it's just there to compare against. So how long will I have to wait to see something happening? A lot longer than I expected, apparently. I set a new timer for an hour and close the containers so the solvents don't evaporate. I check back in 20 minutes, and then again at about half an hour. I see something's happening in the acetone, so let's check it out. The whole thing is pretty rubbery now, and some of the details on the top have started to chip and flake away. It's not melty at all, but it is very brittle and easy to chip with a fingernail. The back is still firm enough that it doesn't take an imprint though, and it's not flexible. Let's check the brush cleaner. This one's starting to feel a bit rubbery too, but it's not chipping or scratching, it's not flaky, it feels pretty much the same aside from the texture. I put 
them back and wait out the rest of the hour. So after an hour in acetone, this donut is toast. Instead of melting, the resin has become flexible and brittle and crumbles when I touch it. At the half hour mark, I would have said it was still salvageable. Now it's done for. Even so, it took way longer to reach this point than I expected. That means as long as you're careful and rinse often while cleaning thin parts on a doll's head, like the area around the eyes, acetone's really not as scary as I thought it would be. The donut that's been in brush cleaner feels more rubbery after a full hour, but it's still rock solid. No chips or scratches, won't take an imprint, and doesn't flex. After leaving this piece out for 15 minutes or so, it didn't feel rubbery anymore either. So if you need to soak a doll head in brush cleaner, it's probably not a big deal. Then there's the one that's been in water, which is still unchanged of course. So there we have it, an hour in brush cleaner, an hour in acetone, and an hour in water. It's pretty safe to say the brush cleaner is completely safe for extended use on dolls. Extended exposure to acetone can cause serious damage, but as long as you're rinsing it often and not letting it soak into the resin, it's probably nothing to worry about. And water, of course, is always safe for cleaning your dolls. That's it for today, though. Thanks for watching. Bye.